Vexatious din! Oh, hey there, Dr. Vic. Such a pretty day, we's just out for a little walkies. Then we're gonna go rub up a clown. Clown? Wanna come? I'll go. You will not. Rubbing up a clown. Get back in the lab. Hmm. Look, Angry Mob, the thing of it is, I need peace and quiet. I'm working on the girding unit for my new interdimensionary Kip's Loaded Pulse time portal. Okay, I have no idea what you're saying. Just keep it down. You never let me do anything. Roughing up a clown, please. That's better than watching you play with that box all day. It is not a box. It's a girding unit. The key to my greatest invention. The interdimensionary Kip's Loaded Pulse Time Portal. Just think, Igor, time travel. All I have to do is enter any date I wish to visit on this girding unit here. Then once I pass through that portal, I'll be transported there instantly. Oh, blah, 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 really blah. Blah, 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 and blah. So, where are we going in this time machine thingy? We? Oh, no, no. I go alone. Oh, please, Master. Let me go. You never let me do anything. The fabric of time is much too delicate to have a conniving little gargoyle like you running rampant. You could change the course of history. And there it is, exactly three minutes, 12 seconds into the episode. It seems we have our plot. What will happen? Let's watch. <laughs> Igor, what does it smell like to you? Cherries? Hmm. What in the name of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is going on? The girding unit! Pretty colors. So long, Dr. Vic! You won't have Igor to boss around anymore! No! Oh, poo. I made Coco. Mm. <laughs> Twenty thousand BC. Perfect. And now for a little revisionist history. That's right, gather round, gather round. Yes, sir. Friends, I ask you, you're tired of carrying those heavy loads? Of course you are. Well, why not try the wheel? Cool. Oh, it's perfect for transporting those bulky boulders around. <laughs> tired of gnawing on raw meat? Well, no more. Ooh. Now you can have meat that's moist, tender, yet grilled to perfection. <laughs> Yums! That's right, friends. Now, how much would you expect to pay for these miracles of modern technology? $19.99, No! It's yours free! Free? Just make sure that you and all your future generations revere me, Igor, as your supreme yet mystical ruler for all time. Okay? Okay. okay. Nice doing business with you. Oh! Ow. Judging by the amount of residual ego gas in the atmosphere, this seems to be where he came in. Thank heavens I never told him about this second girding unit. Oh, please. Just through these trees. That can't be right. The wheel? Fire? They haven't even been discovered yet. What the smell like to you? <laughs> Some sort of jelly? Hmm. Oh no! Oh 
Of course, Igor. He showed them how to use the wheel and fire, thereby setting himself up to be revered as a supreme mystical being for all time. How you know that? Because I was gonna do that too! Quickly, Philip. We must return to the present and see what this madness has unleashed upon the world. Philip, quickly! No! The fool! The brilliant fool! Salutation, stranger! Angry mob! Mm -hmm. Your words is weird to us. How is it that you are not at festival? Festival? Yes, to honor Igor, all-powerful and mystical being. He who is all. All well, is he? I'm not going to honor that cretin. Did you hear that, Philip? Honor Igor? Ha, ha, ha. What does smell like to you? Not honor Igor. Blasphemy! The lawgivers shall hear of this. They shall hear. Butter nut. Mmm. How could I let this happen? Well, <gasps> if it isn't Dr. Vic. Looks like you'll never be able to tell me what to do ever again. What are you going to do with us? Phil can go. You stay. No, Phil stay with Doc. You are naughty, naughty, bad boy, Igor. Thank you, Philip. Then I'll deal with you later. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to my festival. They're giving me a kayak. This wouldn't have happened if only I'd let Igor go rough up a clown. We can't live in the past. Wait a minute. Of course. The past. All we have to do is go back in time to the moment just before Igor first arrived. We'll stop him! But bad guys take early unit. I hid another in your head. See? <laughs> Get ready, Philip. Three, two, one! Uh-oh. Keep writing, Igor. Only 3,234,973 left. Here's a delightful little recipe from North Dakota to use up all those little bits of anatomy you have lying about your castle. You're going to need a good wood chipper. I like this one because it blends nicely. Now the ingredients. Mm. Hello, children. My name is Miss Titus, and I'm head of parents opposed to television inappropriateness. Yeah. Doc, doesn't that spell potty? Yeah. It spells potty. It <laughs> spells potty. <laughs> Silence. Basically, what I do is I take the F out of fun. Now, children, with your kind permission, I'd like to address the producers of this cartoon. <laughs> this is a children's program. Now, I don't know if your writers are all hopped up on coffee and candy corn, but you better get your ducks in a row, little misters, before I lose my temper. Children, please enjoy the next and what I hope will be an appropriate cartoon. Because if it's not, right through here again. Enjoy. <laughs> Don't you people get it? You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Now go wait in your <laughs> trailer. Hi, kids. Don't be scared. It's just me. Miss Tide is your protector. I guess somebody didn't get my story ideas on butterflies and cookies. Why must you people taunt me with your random acts of violence? Why, why? I know it's best for the kids. I went to community college. Cover your ears, children. Cover your eyes. Ah! Feel like funny lady. Now that's entertainment. Barcelona, 1900. 
Pablo Picasso Studio. I don't know. Pablo's are good, but they're boring. This is the same style of painting that's been done for hundreds of years. People are tired of this. Why, I'm getting sleepy right now just talking about it. <sighs> oh, Renee, I know. I am in a rut. But I have a new model to pose for me. Perhaps she will inspire me. Uh, Dirtroot, come in here. I'm ready to punch you. I'm ready, Mr. Picasso. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have an idea. Sold for $10 million. Dirtroot by Pablo Picasso. And that's the news. This is your stentorian announcer saying vinegar makes a lovely debilitary. Hi, I'm Pete. You probably don't uh, recognize me, but uh, I'm a cast member here in Toonsylvania. Ah, oh, nuts. That's uh, Gary the janitor. He's an important part of the crew here, too. Crazy man talking to himself, knocking over things. He should spill my suds bucket, and I never seen him before. Don't know what he's talking about. You may not recognize my face. I've been in cartoons my whole life. Take, for example, you know, one of my earliest episodes of, you know, Toonsylvania, you know. But you never let me get what I want. Sugar-coated lard bran is not a nutritious... Right there. That's me. I'm what's known as a background artist or an extra. I help make what you people see at home more realistic by creating atmosphere. Coming through! That's Ricky. He creates some of the monsters that you see on the show. <laughs> Let's take a look at what else goes into making the glorious world of, you know, Toonsylvania. Heads up! Well, you know, uh, Phil, Doc, and Igor, they have a lot of work to do. What with memorizing lines and, you know, getting into, you know, character. This isn't scary. What kind of script is this? Give me something I can use! It's a lot of work, but it all seems to, you know, pay off in the end. Heads up! And so from all of us to all of you, well, you know, thanks for watching. Who is that guy? I don't know, some crazy guy talking about, hi, my name's Pete, and I don't know what all, uh, letting people wander around, breaking things. <laughs> just doesn't get any better than this, little buddy. You said it, Ace, hey. Just soaking in the sun, not a care in the world, hey. Come quick. Professor Mann, Miss Mann, somebody. This is important. What is it, Francois? It's Lupito, sir, and we've made a discovery. A discovery? What is it? It's when you find something that you didn't know was there. You should know that. Daddy, what is it? I'm scared. Don't worry, darling. It's only an ancient, grotesque, hand-like appendage. That's what we thought, too, but look at this. What the...? Sorry about that! Professor! Lady! I'm in here! What is it, Gerard? No, it's Miguelito. Hey! We have unearthed this! What is it, Daddy? I'm scared. It appears to be a Stone Age carrying device. Well, that's what we thought, too, but, you know... <laughs> what the...? Isn't it precious? Come quick! Again! Hmm. This may be the breakthrough you have so diligently worked so hard for. Mm. But before we jump to conclusions... Meow. Mr. Chuckles! I'll take him, thank you. Hmm. What's the matter, Daddy? We've been on this dig for three months, and all we've discovered are a few knickknacks and a bunch of old swimsuit calendars. Hmm. Mm. Ace Deuce, Hoboken. Professor Mann, Betty. What are you two doing in the deepest, darkest heart of the jungle? Catching a few rays, hey. We don't have to be back at the antique store till Monday, hey. That's perfect. We could use your expertise in excavation. And you can help us dig. We're looking for fossils and stuff like that. I see. You mean, like that? 
good for case. If only we knew what it is we have discovered. Hmm. Looks like a photo album, hey. Let's open it and see what's inside. Patience, Barbara. It could be a trap. <gasps> what is it, hey? I've never seen anything like it before. But it could be the hand of the hideous swamp creature known as Swampus Cretorius, dating from the early Paleolithic age when they ruled the earth and, and made baskets out of taffeta for carrying fancy soaps, which were used as currency at the time. Or it could be some kind of trap. The point is that nobody must know about this. No one. The news of your discovery is both promising and frightening. The grotesquity of that hand-like appendage poses a direct threat to the peace and well-being of our United States of America. How'd you find out, hey? No time for questions, son. We must act quickly. I am ordering you to find all that remains of the remaining remains of that horrific creature. Life in the United States of America may depend on you. That is all. <laughs> Where's that album, hey? Uh, I thought Brenda had it. I thought Daddy had it. Uh, I don't have it, which can only mean one thing. It's gone. I don't like the looks of this, my friend. You want to see some pictures of my hands, hey? No time for that, buddy. We must charter a skiff and go after that album. It could be our only hope. Or it could be a deadly trap. Hey, Ace, you sure you know how to drive one of these things, hey? You're forgetting. I piloted one of these in the war. I know this boat like I know my own shoes. Where are my shoes? I traded them for this necklace, hey. Boy, it sure is hot, hey. How hot is it? It's so hot you could cook an egg on a bald man's head. <laughs> Bob Jacks are up. Hey, oh. I'm going for a swim. <gasps> I don't think that would be wise. There's no telling what evil swamp creatures lurk in this swamp. Plus, you just ate breakfast. You should wait at least 20 minutes. And let's not forget, it could be a trap. No, oh, Ace, really, I think you're being silly. What kind of danger could we possibly be? <laughs> That's our cue, buddy. My senses tell me they went that way. Ah! Couldn't it be some sort of trap, hey? I didn't think so until... Ah! Oh, I'll never get used to that. Ah! Or that. <laughs> uh, that tickles. <laughs> That's a new one, isn't it, hey? I don't like the sound of this. Ah! Ah! Sorry. Uh, hello, boys. Cappuccino? You got decaf, hey? I don't understand. It turns out this creature is harmless. He's just misunderstood. But he kidnapped you and your shapely daughter. He didn't mean to. You scared him. He was just looking for some soap. The poor guy hasn't had a bath in ages. Whoa. You're telling me, hey? Cut it out, Hoboken. You shouldn't judge others based on their hygienic habits. Sometimes I myself will go a week or two without brushing my teeth. <gasps> my point is, we should not look down at our swamp creature friend. Instead, we should embrace him. Come here, friend. I am proud of you all. Hygienic freedom is what makes the United States of America great. Why, I haven't washed my uniform in two years. Ew. And after a thorough hygienic cleansing, the monster became a productive member of society. Say cheese. 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 Hey.